tell y'all something this morning before I even pray. I'm gonna say this again. Y'all can tell me something. How come I don't know why? Is it the weather or what?
numbers. <coughs> uh, numbers 27 verses 4 through 27. Take your time. Take your time. You know, it's a funny thing when you praise God. And I, as, as, as the choir and, 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 uh, and, and, and uh, Minister William was singing, um, a break every chain, break every chain, and then said, I feel the chain of following. That's what I felt a few minutes ago. You know, but you, if you ask God for something, if you desire something from God, uh, you, 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 you have to tell it. And once you do it, you can feel it in your spirit. Yeah. Praise be to God. Numbers, the 27th the chapter, verses 4 through 7. Say amen when you have it. If not, just tell me what Amen. Amen.
going to be. Yet, because of our trust and our faith in God, we as children of God step out in faith and we pursue our God-given assignment. All right. I'm going to tell you something. I need to say that again. Because we are children of God, All right. we step out on faith yes. and we pursue our God-given assignment. All right. We don't have no blueprint. That's right. And we don't know which way to go, but we step out on faith. Yes. Church, we all have setbacks yes. in our lives. Yes. However, I have come to the conclusion that setbacks are God's opportunity for what? Set us. Amen. All right. Circumstances do not stop what God has for his children. Stop looking at your circumstances. Stop looking at what you can't do and look at what God can do. Too many times and too often we look at how many bills we got and that there ain't no money and this and that. Take your heart your mind off your circumstances and start looking to Jesus. And those circumstances will dissipate. God does not deal in circumstances. He does not give in circumstances. Why? Because he says he keeps first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. So you see, he don't deal in circumstances. You just seek him. And everything else shall come. So what do I mean by courage under fire? Everyone here under the sound of my voice have faced obstacles in their lives. Alright. Obstacles will cause stress yes, and will. discouragement. Yes, it will. All right. Then we find ourselves feeling defeated in our spirits and in our thinking and, and, and we feel like we just can't go on and we just feel like we just want to give up and quit. Yeah. Because of certain sense. But I have good news for you today. Good news. All right. For those of you who are by faith and trials and tribulations, I want you to have courage. All right. God doesn't want us to have a defeated attitude. All right. Remember, the battle is in the mind. Yeah. It's in your thinking. All right. You have to have courage to be able to 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 control that that thing that's in you that says that I can't do. Yeah. I can't do. I can't do and say I can. All right. Make no mistake about it, church. This Christian journey is coupled with moments of joy, yeah. of happiness, yeah. challenging moments, yeah. and even hard pressed neck turning moments. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to say something too. There are periods of time in our lives where we feel, and I've felt this so many times. If I have to cross one more hook, Lord, I don't know what I would do. Amen. But you see, in this Christian journey, church, there are often moments of uneasiness where God's divine favor is warranted. Because if we did not have God's divine favor, think of that. Because oftentimes it takes God's faith. For us to walk courageously. But God wants us to hang in there. He don't want us to quit. He wants us to trust him. That's what the daughters of Zalusa had did. They believed that God was with them. And he would give them what was rightfully theirs. 
told him, said, look at you. You went bad and you're sick. You're all full of sores. Where is your God now? And the devil will speak to you just that way. But you got to be able to stand. Yeah, that's right. You got to be able to stand regardless of the situation. It takes courage to continue on. Yes. Especially when the pressures of life is weighing you down. You got to have some courage. You got to have some faith yes. to say, no, I don't care what's going on in my life. For God I need yes. and for God I got. It takes courage in God to believe that mountains can come. Yes. And nothing can stop you from obtaining what God has for you. That's right. When I think about courage, I, I, I think about David. Uh -huh. David believed that he could handle any situation. Uh -huh. David was a little man, little big man. Uh -huh. okay. But when it came to Goliath, he stood there and he was the only one that was standing in front of him. Hey, he had courage, church. Yes. Why did he, he said, and when he slew the liar, what did he say? He said he did it in the name of his Lord, yeah. Jesus Christ. You got to talk to that thing that's coming against you. All right. You got right. to speak to that mountain. That's right. When you are in the valley, you got to speak to the valley. Oh, yeah. And you got to claim that God is with you. Yeah. You got to know it in your heart because if you don't know it in your heart, you don't know who Right. You have to believe that God is with you, and even this shall pass. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Praise be to God. David, he wasn't afraid. Of all the things that he went through, he wasn't afraid. David was small in stature, but he had a big outlook, a large outlook, and how to handle it difficult situation. Yeah. You see, he didn't rely on his physical abilities. He relied on Almighty God. Almighty we God. have to rely on Almighty my God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Not on our circumstances. Yeah. Not if the check is going to come in. Not when the check is going to come yeah. in. Yes. But rely on Almighty God. My God. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying to you, I've been there nothing. All of them. That's why I can say it. Right. It takes a while. And it took a while for me to, to fight this battle that's going on in my mind. Yeah. And, I, and, it, and it took some reading the scripture and stretching the scripture yeah. and, and, and talking to the Lord late at night and, and getting up early in the morning and, and telling God all about the situation yeah. and telling God, Lord, I know, I know that there has to be a way. Yeah, right, right. But then there's that small voice that was small oh, voice. Right. 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 and tells you. Just trust me. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll take him. Yeah. It took me a long time to understand what the scripture meant when it said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all of his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. It took me a while. Everything. I'm like, but, but I, I, I got to pay my bills today. You know? It took me a while to understand that God is saying to each and every one of us today, just seek Him. Put your trust in Him. Let Him lead you and guide you in all your endeavors. And He'll bring you through. And that little paycheck that you get, if you were going to be like the one of my flock, was it the one of my yes? It, it, it was just multiply and multiply and multiply. And you said, how did I pay all those bills with that little big check? Ain't like me. So what God requires of us, church, is faith. We have to have our supernatural faith to please God. Because for without faith, it is impossible to please God. We must believe that God is. And it takes faith to believe in the existence of God. Yeah. So without faith, you can't believe. Now these five daughters, they exhibited courage. Yeah. And they exhibited faith All right. that only could have come from God. Yeah. Couldn't have come from no place else. Yeah. These daughters didn't let 
the cultural ties. All right. Take away what was rightfully theirs. All right. They were faithful and they was courageous under fire. All right. We have to be faithful, faithful. and courageous. And courageous. Even though the wind might be blowing. All right. The storm may have come. Yeah. It may be raining. We still have to be faithful yes, and have courage yes, under fire. Yes. No matter what the situation looks yes. like, it's impossible to understand that during the period of time when these women was when came uh, was uh, to the prophet Moses regarding their property. During that period of time, I, I just want to say that women was considered property. Yes. Uh, just like a pet or some cattle, or a house that you own. They were considered property themselves. They had no voice. They simply obeyed the instructions that they were given. But these women took a bold step in lieu of civil and judicial policies. They took a bold leap of faith and courage. What about you today? Are you willing to take a step of faith and receive what's rightfully yours? Taking that step meaning that you are trusting in God for whatever it is in your life, whatever concerns you, whatever is going on in your life, in the life of your family men, and most especially you men being the head of the household, Take courage. All right, good. And have faith in God. Because I've said this many, many times, that the head ain't no good, the rest of the body ain't no good. Yeah. 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 about your inheritance. You live in a survival. 
wives were more. All right. Anybody ever been there? Yes, and are often taken captive into captivity by the cares of this world. You only think about just trying to make it. Yeah, that's all. Uh -uh, just trying to make it. God wants more than that for us. Yes, He does. More than just making it. Yeah. Yes. We are His heirs. Yes. And because we are, He has greatness in His God wants us to prosper, yes. not just continue to exist, right. not just living a mediocre life, not just barely getting by. God wants more than that for us. Yes. He has more than that for he us, has. but it's up to us to reach out and get. He has. Through his son's death and resurrection, we gain an inheritance. Yeah. And the power to die to our old ways and to rise to newness in life in Jesus Christ. Yeah, you did. So if you want your inheritance, you got to die to your old ways. Yeah. That's right. And when you die to your old ways, you will become new in Christ. Yeah. And your inheritance is there. But you can't live the way you want to live. Right. Do what you want to do. And so, oh, I'm an heir to God's promise. Do y'all know how rich we are? Do y'all know that we are kings and queens? Praise be God. Amen. God has so much for us, but we have to know how to get it. Now, these five daughters. That they, they, they stood out for their exceptional act of courage. They went before Moses and the other leaders of Israel. They protested the unfairness of a legal requirement. Right. A requirement that favors sons rather than daughters. All right. They not only protested the church, they asked for the law to be changed yes. because of their bravery. A new law was given. All right. And when a man has no sons, his daughters now right. have a right to his right. the right. and right. Now I ask another question to you today. What after bravery might God be calling on you to do today? He's calling on you. What is God asking for you to do today? Yeah. And you know he's asking. But yet you are not doing it. Yeah. Each and every one of us, he's calling on each and every one of us. And I want to say this. Look, the Bible says, behold, I knock. He's knocking at the door of your heart. Yeah. He said, I'm not going to push open. And I'm paraphrasing here. Right. You're going to have to open the door. Right. In other words, get up and do something. Yeah. There is something that he has for each one of us to do. That's right. What do you do when facing mountain after mountain? Defeat after defeat with the opposition. But I'm glad you asked that. Heirs of God, with thanksgiving in your heart, thanksgiving. speak to God. Yeah. Utter a prayer in earnest. Now, I want you to understand something here. Anybody can just utter a prayer. Yeah. Uh, right. But it has to be in earnest. The Bible says in earnest utter that, that your request unto the Lord. So, and when you do that, don't hold back anything. Yeah. Let me tell you what belongs to you first as heirs of God and call it to Jesus Christ. It means that God has blessed you with every blessing. Every blessing. Every blessing. But you have to go to God. And you got to tell God. And I, when I, when I first came to Christ, I, I, one of my uh, professors told me, he said, you got to go to God and tell God about your low-down dirty self. <laughs> and when you tell God about your low-down dirty self, <coughs> then God can do something about it. But don't go to God. Well, Lord, I lied, but I didn't steal. All right. I did this, but I didn't do that. Yeah, right. No, that's not praying. 
church, y'all. Yes, sir. That's right. Mm. You know exactly what you've done. You are. That's right. Yes. And when I prayed and told God about myself, I called myself everybody. Because you know what I was in the past. Yeah, right. Because there's just that one thing that you think you haven't done. Right. That's what you've done. Right. I ain't going to feed you here Monday. I'm going to go. This one lady told me, I just can't say that because I'm really not a thief. Oh, you a thief. Yes, yeah, sir. So. You a thief, all right. Yeah. You a liar. Yeah. You a whole monger. Because yeah. the Bible says if you look up on somebody else, then you look nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's so don't right. try taking things and, and picking over things and saying, yeah, I'm not right. this and I'm not that. You are every single one of them. God says come to him in earnest. Yeah. And when you can come to God in earnest, and you can tell God about your low down dirty self. All right. Then God can give you courage. Yes. You go to God and tell him, Heavenly Father, we love you. Yeah. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Yes, yes. Thank you for dying on the cross for a wretch like me. Like yes. me. Yes. That I might have life and have life more yes. than Yes. Give me courage, Lord, yes. to pray. Give me courage, Lord, to praise you and yes. give you glory each and yes. every day of my life. Yes. Heavenly Father, give me the courage to take my eyes off those difficult things. Yes. 